What's going on everybody? It's Josh. I'm here. Um, I'm just going to let this video kind of just do its own thing. Um, I don't really have like a subject title for this, but I just want to talk pretty much. Um, if you followed my channel for a while, you know that I like to do these rants. If you've watched my live streams, you know that I, I'm very long winded, but I'm going to try to keep it short and sweet with hopefully like no edits or anything. So um i don't know where i start i haven't posted a video in like three probably a long time like i want to talk through this while i go because i want to be accurate but if i go to my youtube studio app also if you don't want to listen to all this you can leave i will not be offended um so 116 days ago was my last like toy hunt video i have no idea how many days that is it's a long time so pretty much um to keep it hopefully short and sweet, I have fallen out of love with the routine of collecting. So as we all know, I like to buy a shitload of stuff and I like to sell it within like two months, yada, yada, yada. You know, that's that's mainly like the thing that I feel like I'm known for in the toy community. Um, and I, I've, I've fallen out of love with doing that because one, it's exhausting for me. Um, just like mentally because I've, i like something and i'm a 100 percent like i'm all in and it's gotten to the point where i can't do that anymore because it's stupid pretty much um the beginning of november i started getting back in the gym i started uh eating on a diet whatever you want to call it um just pretty much taking care of myself and investing into myself um supplements other things to take for working out um whatever put all of that stuff into one category all that stuff um i mean new literally like workout shoes like people don't understand that like there are some shoes that are meant for working out they're not cheap you know 150 bucks whatever um headphones you know i have airpods but i can't work out with airpods i like over the head you know uh gym clothes you know all the clothes that i wear out in public aren't necessarily like gym clothes. Like this is a gym t-shirt. Like that costs money to have enough to where I don't, well, so Karina doesn't have to do laundry every single day. So I have clothes to work out in. So all that aside, and I started just like adding up dollar value and investing into myself is more important for me, for who I am right now and for where I want to be in the future versus things behind me. Like as you can maybe see, my detox are empty. As of today, Sunday, January 29th, I have all my Hot Toys packed up besides stuff. Um, like I'm keeping Hot Toys that were like a gift to me, like from Karina or like some close friends of mine. I still have some stuff. Um, like my big Jabba statue that I bought, like I'm gonna, I'm selling everything, literally everything. Like my autographs that I bought, like, you know, now's the time, go down in the comments, do your little keyboard warrior stuff, whatever. I, I'll be here for it. It is what it is. Oh, Josh, you sold. Oh, you're a fake collector. You know, I don't, I don't care, Becky. I don't care, Thomas, what you have to say about me. I don't, I don't care anymore. I used to care so much about what the internet thought of me. I used to, here goes my rant. I used to like, like I, I bought stuff to post so I could get likes and attention from people who literally forget about me when I when I don't make videos, when I'm not posting, and that's fine. Like that's what the cycle of a, a content creator of whatever you want to call it is. If you're not active, the people who watch you forget because there's 900,000 versions of me doing the same thing, posting the same stuff. But for some toxic formula in my head, I, I had to buy this stuff to a point. In the beginning, I promise all of you, it was out of like passion. You know, I, I was buying and, and collecting stuff before I started my YouTube channel, however many years ago it was, four, five. And once I started gaining the traction and becoming popular, and I'm air quoting all this because it, it's disgusting for me to even like say this because I don't want, it, once again, I don't care what you think, but I, I personally want to make it clear that I'm not saying that I was like on a pedestal 
in the YouTube toy collecting world. Like there's so many people out there doing this that I, I could, I, I don't care how I'm represented, but I just want you to know that I didn't do it to be this thing. You know, I'm not on a pedestal. But what I am admitting is when I started getting the, the, the traction of YouTube views and comments and when I go to toy shows, people are like, yo, can I get a picture? Or, you know, do they, even if they don't get a picture and they just talk to me and they know who I am, when I'm in the toy department and I'm just not even recording and someone walks up like, hey, are you, you have a YouTube channel, right? I'm like, yeah, I'm Josh. She's like, oh, okay, I watch you. I'm like, yo, thank, I'm glad someone watches. Thank you. Like, I still have a box full of every note that has been sent, like when I do a trade or when someone sends me something or even when I buy something and people know who I am and they would like write a note, you know, just a thank you. Like, hey, your videos are cool. Uh, when, when that started happening, I started buying stuff for content and for videos and to show people I have this, look how cool I am, like that kind of thing. Like, it's really stupid and, and I don't know if, if a lot of you would understand that unless you're sick and twisted like I am but now that I've started working out like I literally I feel so good like the gym is a part of my lifestyle now like it's to the point where it literally like when my when I get in my car my phone lights up and it says 15 minutes to the address of my gym like so my phone already knows after work we're going to the gym like that that's just what happens you know, and I've been connecting better with Karina. Like we've we've been going every day. We don't work out together, but we're there together. You know, I come home, we eat our meals. You know, our, our life is revolving around being healthy and just being happy. And that's really where I'm at in life is I just want to have fun with, you know, those who are around me, those in my like tight inner circle. And I just want to be able to to not worry about spending money on on toys because I, I don't want to say I've matured because I don't want it to be a der derogatory statement or negative statement against people who are collecting and saying that I look down on them that they're spending the money because I would be the biggest hypocrite if I told you guys that it's stupid to buy these toys now because I would get mad when people would tell me not to buy certain things like it's my money who who cares so I'm just saying from my point of view I just I don't see the value in spending that much money on these things now that that truly don't bring me happiness. You can probably see shoes behind me. I did this as a joke to post and say this is my new Detoff display. I'm getting rid of most of these Detoffs. I low key might keep some shoes in there just because I don't have anywhere else to put them for now. So it is what it is. But anyways, where are we at? Eight minutes. Okay, we're moving right along. Um. I I just want to invest in myself and those around me. Like I want I want I want to have fun with the people around me and I want to be able to financially do things that I don't have to think about. If I don't know if this is really making sense, but this is a long time coming and I, for those of you who truly know me and who truly like enjoy my content and I don't know, I, I don't even know what to call it, but I just wanted to give an explanation because as, as transparent as I've always been and as like that's always been my thing, you know, transparency is key. You know, years ago when everyone thought YouTuber or toy YouTubers did this for money, I, I showed you how much I made on YouTube and it was nothing. Like, I'm always transparent. I always talk about everything as if like you are my true friend because that's how I am with everyone, to be honest with you. Like, I, I just feel like transparency is key. Anyways. So I just, I feel like there's some explanation needed because I've gotten, I don't want to say a lot because that's really over exaggerative, but I've gotten more than I expected messages and comments and stuff of why are you selling? You know, some people are sad that I'm selling, which I don't understand, I guess. Um, and then I've had a lot of people, you know, do the negative toxic shit and I, I just don't care. Ugh. But I want, hey, can you grab me a prime yep. out of the thing? Why did my computer go off? I, once again, this is wrong. Um, thank you. Okay. But once again, like, it, it, it's just, it is what it is. So I'm done collecting. I don't want to say I'm done with content because there, there is a very good possibility that I just start 
recording stuff and putting it out and if it gets five views whatever if it's if it's a fun video and it's funny for me i would love to look back on it and not to copycat brian big dub but something to that nature nothing as long format and nothing as fun to be honest like his videos are fun to watch just because of the shenanigans and just the lifestyle that he lives and i probably wouldn't be able to do that because i like enjoying it more than recording it so there could be a time where you know like for instance at the end of february karina and i are going to go hang out with cody in brooklyn we're going to a concert we're going to go do some fun stuff in lexington for a weekend if i want to pick up the camera and record that stuff and edit it into a video and it's funny and i upload it it's a video if you guys want to watch cool if not it is what it is so that's kind of where i'm at i'm not done with youtube i'm just definitely done with collecting and doing crazy amounts of toy hunts because it's just the things that I that I collected or wanted to collect were hot toys. And right now, retail of hot toys are crazy expensive. Granted, they've been expensive, but it just keeps going up and the price is going up and what you the, the value is is still the same as it was like three years ago. You know, like oh what's going on with my camera? So over $300 and with how I collect, I'm just so toxic with it where I, I feel like I need it all, need it all, need it all. So I, I just can't do that, man. Cause like $300 for one hot toy, that's probably two, two months of supplements that I use every day for the gym, for my health, you know, just for making me feel better. So I just, it's the value for that money just isn't there for me anymore. And say what you want about the shoes. I've had all of these besides the Travis Scott ones. I've had all these for like two, three years. So, and I've never, I don't really talk about them a lot just because it was like a toy thing and no one really cared. So, I mean, now look at my room. This thing is a disaster because I've literally just been packing and everything is just... Like here's some stuff that I'm putting up for sale or that I shipped that was up for sale. And I just need to empty out everything. So I put these up here so they don't get stepped on. And I, like I said, as a joke, and that's really it. So I don't really know what else, <laughs> what else to say. I mean, that's, I think I've, I've said it all. I mean, I'm not done with con toy content but I'm done collecting. And I really hope that makes sense. So if you unsubscribe, it's probably for the better because I don't, I don't need the numbers anymore. If you don't watch this video, then you'll never hear this. So that's fine. But if you do watch this and you understand or whatever, you know, I'd appreciate any feedback or any whatever in the comments. I don't even know what to call it now. I can't promise you that I'll read them all. Um, because this might just be like a post and ghost that I do. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's, that's mainly it. I went to the toy department yesterday for probably the last time to sell stuff. Um, I'll, I'll always go in and pop in and say hi to James if we're down there on the weekends. Because James is, honestly, he's the man down there. So, it is what it is. It's a little bittersweet for me in a way. I don't think I'm going to regret selling everything because this is like the umpteenth time I've sold stuff. But I will say... Since I'm not doing the content, it's not fueling the passion for collecting like it was. So I fully blame myself and my whatever, like I said, toxic formula that's in my head that made me need to col need to buy, not even collect. I didn't even collect. I, I hoarded stuff and I bought it for a video or to post for recognition from people who truly don't even like me. Like I'm like... Like the biggest thing that I say when, when people would comment or message me on Instagram or whatever and just like not even really like talk shit but just say something stupid like yeah I figured you'd sell this or like when I post something they'll be like whoa let me know when you sell like just dumb shit like that like you know who I am I have zero idea who you are like just think about it like and once again I'm, it's not me being cocky it's, it's that it's like you follow what I'm doing so much and I have zero idea what you do. Why do you think that I, I care so much? Why do you need to message me? Why do you need to tell me like the dumbest stuff? And that's just me. And yes, 
I put myself out there on the internet for criticism. Like, I'm not saying you can't do that, but I, it's just so troublesome as to why people feel the need to do it. And it's just how the world is today. And to be honest, the toy community is getting pretty shitty lately. Like, I would say over the past, like, six months to a year, the community has just been not fun. Like, there's a bunch of negativity. There's a bunch of people just crying and complaining about the littlest things. At the end of the day, it's plastic. Like, we, you should be grateful that you have enough money to afford to buy all this pointless stuff at the end of the day. But they want to complain about everything. I open up my feed, I scroll three times, and I see seven people complaining about a hot toy that looks slightly off, you know, whatever. And I guess as a customer, once again, I'm not saying you can't do that, but I just wonder why people are directing so much of their energy to that. Like, just let it be. If you don't like it, that's fine. Why do you need to let everybody know? So at the end of the day, it's just how it is. I'm not upset at any, obviously anybody besides myself. I could care less, but I care about the people who care about me, if that's making sense. Because I made a lot of friends in this community and I've made some lifelong friends. And I've also lost quite a few real life and internet friends uh, through this hobby. So it's been an up and down roller coaster. Um, and I think it's it's time to stop for a little bit and just see where it goes. I mean, this past weekend, to not this weekend, but last weekend. I mean, we were in Atlanta with Brian for like four days. And that's kind of what clicked. I was like, I want to do this more. We didn't go to any toy shops. We didn't do anything toy related. We had fun and it all started from YouTube, from toys. Same with Cody and Danny and Dave, James, Chancho. I'm missing people, Jared. Jared's really not my friend anymore because he bailed on me, but um, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of people who I've met in real life and who I talk to on the daily that I met from here. And that, that's all I can ask for. Like, I have a handful of close, lifelong friends that I love, and I'm very happy for them to be my friends. And I don't need anything else. So I'm exiting. I'm done. It is what it is. I don't know what else to say. Um, that's it. It's seven, 17 and a half minutes. That's a, that's a long time. If you guys were here... Um, let's do something fun. Let's comment your favorite drink. What do you like to drink every day? Comment that. Um, I'll see you guys. I, I do still want to do live streams, even if it's just to 14 people and just hang out and talk and just what's up with life. How you guys doing? So I would like to still do those. But anyways, I'm gonna let you guys go. Thank you all for the support over the years. Um, sorry if this is really that disappointing to anybody, but I doubt a lot of people will care. So it is what it is. I love you guys. Um, think, and if you, oh my goodness, my Instagram, which should hopefully be down here. And then my Facebook group, which should be in the comments, like Pence Pack or something. Um, that's where I'm selling all my stuff. If you guys are interested, I'm kind of selling these for a deal. Like I'm not trying to lose all my money, but I'm at the point where I.